What's going on guys? I'm coming at you with yet another BMW E46 video. Um, it's time for the first oil change. So normally when I buy a used car, one of the first things I do is change the oil and uh, any other fluids that might need to be flushed as well. But the previous owner had such good records um, and also uh, printouts of taking it to a shop that I actually was familiar with. Um, I actually drove the car around several thousand miles without getting oil change right away. So long story short, we are doing the 5W30 Liquid Molly Oil. Uh, historically, this car has had 5W30, so I'd like to keep the same weight. I just bought a kit from FCP Euro, link in description for this. It's seven liters total, but I plan to put six and a half in, and it also comes with an oil filter. So these are the things you need. We're gonna jump right into it. So I actually warmed the car up for maybe about 10 minutes or so. Uh, ideally, when you do an oil change, you want the oil to be warm. Uh, that way it's a little thinner and it drips out. Uh, something kind of odd that I like to do when I jack up the car is I actually use uh, jacks and then I place the car on the ra the, uh, the Rhino ramps. I know that seems kind of weird, like why wouldn't you just drive up on them normally? It's It's not a great feeling driving up on these without someone spotting you. And I have the truck here and I have the M3 here. So I just figured, God forbid something happens, it just isn't really worth it. So that's why I like to do it this way. And um, you know, I have plenty of space and it's resting on something secure. So first step is to get your oil uh, catcher can or whatever you want to call it, oil pan uh, that you drain the oil into. This is the one I like, it's kind of low profile and uh, it's uh, not really expensive. So I kind of undo this just a little bit and uh, we're gonna slide it under here. Okay, so we are under the car and uh, this actually normally has a cover on it. Um, it must have fallen off because I know when I bought the car, I remember seeing it. Uh, this is where the oil plug is. It's right there. And uh, that is the first thing we're going to loosen so we can drain the oil first. I know there's a little bit of residue under here, somewhat normal <laughs> for a 17 year old BMW, but it is not um, seeping or uh, kind of dripping so badly. The car does not leave any spots in the ground uh, that I really need to do much with it, at least right now. Okay, 17 millimeter. Try my best so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Should be 17. Oh, that seemed incredibly tight, I'm not gonna lie. And let her drain. All right, so while it is draining below us, uh, you wanna give that as much time as possible. You need to take off the oil filter, which is right here. So this is a giant 36 millimeter uh, made pretty much, I assume specifically for this, but probably other stuff too. And all of my cars take this. Uh, the M3, the M5, this car did, so it was worth it for me to buy it. It's really not a big deal. And ideally, this won't be incredibly tight. And then I've got my bag here, which I will place it in, just because I don't want to make a big mess. I'm gonna kinda let this just drip in here a little bit. Not that it really matters. Right here. Let's see if I can get that off. Be careful. Put this to the side and keep this wrapped up so it doesn't leak. Okay, so we've got our uh, cap here. And what I like to do is give it a quick 
a little wipe down just so we're not working with anything crazy, dirty, whatever. Okay, so you wanna take off, you got this one, so you wanna remove that. And then there's also one right on this tip here. All right, so that is the other little gasket you wanna remove. Put it there for now. All right, so we've got our new oil filter here, which is from the kit. And then in the kit, they give you this. So these, this is the new gasket. You take some new oil, I guess for this purpose, old oil isn't a big deal. I just dip my finger in it. And then I put the oil along the gasket, which is pretty much the same for every car. Just make sure you put enough. And we put her back on, same way. And I don't normally like to wear gloves because I feel like it inhibits my ability to feel stuff, but with oil, it's like I just don't want oil all in my fingernails and stuff, so. All right, so that's there. Um, so let's just give this a quick wipe. It's kind of gross. And then the other thing that comes in the kit is a new crush washer, which is uh, very important to put uh, when you put the new uh, drain bolt, the drain bolt back on. New one, just make sure it's fitting pretty good. That seems like a pretty good fit. Okay, so now that we got this ready, um, the next step is to put the drain bolt back in. It's really simple. All you wanna do is put the new crush washer on the drain bolt and then tighten it down. I'm not gonna show you because it's incredibly hard to see down there, and it's dark, and my camera's too big, so uh, you guys just have to trust me. The torque, I just do sort of like a quarter turn. Like once it's tight, I just go a quarter, and that's it. I believe it's around like 17 foot pounds. It's not very much. You do not want to over tighten this. Uh, of course, you don't want your drain bolt flying out either, but uh, you do not want to over tighten. All right, so next step, we're gonna add the oil. Take off the oil fill cap, which has seen better days. Funnel. And actually what I like to do, this is the one I already opened, I like to actually prime the uh, oil filter. So what I do is I just, actually I should just put this here, put some in there. Because I feel like normally there's oil in there and uh, I hate to start the car without any oil. I guess it pressurizes, but still, uh, that's what I like to do. So I put, uh, you know, maybe half a liter or whatever in the uh, oil filter housing. Um, I just mentally feel <laughs> whatever better about it. So that's what I like to do, at least a little bit. Alrighty. So we just put this bad boy back on. Oh, don't cross thread it. And you don't want to over tighten this either. But you do want it snug. So here we go. And that's all I'm going to do. If for some reason it starts leaking, I'll just tighten it just a little bit more. Okay, so my tip is to do six and a half liters and then check it and then add some more if you need. Um, if it is a little low, you know, you can just turn off the car and add a little bit, but uh, I think it's supposed to take between six and seven. I believe FCP Euro's site says six and a half. And then obviously you have some in the oil pan if you didn't get it all out. So I hate to overfill because that's bad too. And then you have to deal with getting it out, which sucks so yeah that's about six and a half all right let's reset the oil service interval 
Close the door here. All right, so stick the key in the ignition. Don't turn it. All right, so hold this button down and then turn the ignition to the first position. Continue to hold. Reset. And then hold it again. And then once reset blinks, you click it once. And that should have uh, reset it. Okay, end. All right guys, how about that for an oil change on the E46? I really hope this helped you if you have one of these cars. You probably already know how to do it, but I always like to do kind of like the first or second oil change. I like to film that uh, as part of sort of like a DIY type of video. Um, What's actually kind of amazing is I normally don't even film the oil reset uh, how-to part because I literally always mess it up. It actually took me about 10 minutes to get it right and actually capture it on film for you guys. So give me a thumbs up for that uh, because I like have given up even doing that on the M3. I just like reset it via my Carly app because I can't, the combination, I, for some reason, I just can never get right. So anyways, uh, links are in the description, FCP Euro, buy the kit, oil for this car is so cheap, um, at least compared to what I'm normally used to. The 5W30 is pretty standard and uh, Liquid Molly is uh, really, you know, it's a lot of bang for your buck and a lot of guys like it. So again, links in description, stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys next time. Reset one more time. Test. No, that's not one. Whoop. Motherfucker. Um, we're gonna press it once. Okay, so that's not right. Miles, none. It says oil service, and I'm going to hold this. Three, four, five. Nope, we don't want to test. What the 